right, hey guys, it's Kat here from Mystic Bat Studio. <laughs> Here's another top down for you. I swear I'm gonna start doing face to face. I just kind of look like a troll right now. It's fine. Uh, so I spent entirely too much time trying to make this stack visible to you. Uh, today we're gonna talk about bullet journaling and I'm just gonna show you my massive stack of journals that I maybe don't even need this many and just kind of talk about my journey, what I've used them for, what this is about, kind of stuff. This is not necessarily a how-to, this is more of look at my journey through bullet journaling kind of nonsense. Um, mostly because I want to talk more about bullet journals and I want to have like more review videos and more I'm gonna test out this spread, I'm gonna do these experiments revolving around this hobby and this specific outlet but I didn't think it made sense to jump into those on this channel since I haven't introduced the fact that I even do this yet. It's been my number one way for organizing and then quite a bit of creative freedom. Uh, mostly I use bullet journals because I love planners, but they're too rigid and I write too much. Like. I've tried y'all, it don't work. I think also I just like the freedom of getting to write it. I also would be lying if I told you it wasn't because I wanted an excuse to buy all these journals because that's a very big piece of it. Um, so this stack is kind of split into two different ones. Let me see if I can do this gracefully. Okay, so this one's actually empty. These are my actual bullet journals so far. These are bullet journals of a different subject. These guys I use for not planning. Like it's for a different kind of planning. These are not calendars. I don't put weeklies in these. I don't put monthly. Some of them have monthlies. I don't, these are mostly collections and thinking and planning for other things. This is not my schedule. I'm gonna see if I can let them stay there. Oh, very good. Um, and then these guys are actively ones that I have used for planners. Anyway, okay, so this is the first one that I ever got. Uh, this Christmas, my boyfriend and his mom both got me the same journal, but it's my favorite color, so I can't really complain because it's the one I would have picked. So I have written on it with Sharpie, I have attacked it with stickers that I made for funsies. Oh, Mr. Ryan. Anyway. Um, so this one claims that it was 2019. It started in January. Yeah, so I got, my birthday's at the end of the year. So I would have got this on Christmas. Um, I guess, yeah, they were Christmas gifts. That's, my birthday is two days after Christmas. Don't mind me, y'all. Uh, and then I had been watching videos and really wanted to try it, so like, my first one is in a moleskin and there's a bunch. This is probably where I did a lot of experimentation from like normal calendars to different schedules. I tried page spreads like this. I think I would try to set one thing up like for a month. I would try one layout and then go to something else and then try this. Did some, and I think something I really liked about this first go through, well, I tried so hard to do collections and all these cool things and <laughs> I forgot about that. I tried so hard to do like these really cool things with these plans and then these cute decorations and then like cover pages and calendars and I was journaling in between. So if I felt like it, I would just journal. Uh, tried so many things and then I realized really quickly that I don't use any of that. So I think this was the first one I ever posted on social media. I had done um, scribbled with Tombos on something and like stuck it to the page while it was wet and it had this kind of cool effect. It was a pain in the butt to try and get a tiny calendar on this tiny page. Uh, but yeah, I started out so fancy and just so quick. Oh, I love this one. The That's good. But so quickly I realized this was not enough space for me. And I tried to do trackers and I never kept with them. Even though this one looks like I did, I quickly stopped doing that. Um, I even tried like designing, like I would try to do a fancy spread, set up a calendar and then that's it. 
it would go straight into my daily pages and try to do this stuff because um, I just don't use anything for my monthly. I wanted to, I tried. And then I realized that it was just dead paper. And if you'll notice, this first one had a bunch of things stuck in and then this next one is mostly pen. I used a bunch of stickers and washi in here and I think just it felt like extra effort. So in this dude, wait, was this one older? Oh no, I got them at the same time I made that. And then I think I did this one secondly. And I tried um, weekly spreads because I was doing classes so I needed to see. There's a couple of collection type pages, but this one, I think the thing I love the most about using the Moleskines is there's so many more pages in them that it felt pretty good to just journal as I would. So I, I think I like took notes while in class and then would journal when I was bored. Um, but I would do kind of these floating days where I would just put in the thing, write down a bullet list, and I tried a bunch of stuff. There's some stuff stuck in here. I did start mostly writing in pastel. Um, I have, I have a set of these zebra, what is it, Sarasa, Sarasa, I don't know. I'm assuming Sarasa because it's a Japanese brand. But um, they're just really fine tip, like pastel pens. But because they're pastel, they're opaque, they have white in them, so they don't bleed or go through the page as much as normal pens do in a journal like this. But yeah, this is, it's almost the end of the year. Oh, that's my brush. It's almost the end of the year and I want to use up the space. So I just started writing so much because I think at this point I had already purchased and received my next journal that I wanted to use. So I just wanted it to be done. So there's those, and then this was the first 160 GSM paper journal that I got. Uh, this is a Scribbles That Matter, I think this is the Pro or whatever it is. It's the one without all the stuff on it, obviously. I did like that they do still have this kind of cute one in the back, but it's more subtle than just the whole cover. And then I just stuck a on a bunch of clear stickers to it, but it looks like it came like that. I'm kind of proud of it. Amazing. Uh, so when I got this, this was a really pretty mint color, but as you can tell, I have loved this and I took it everywhere. This one has a lot of paper in it, so it, I think it lasted me about six months, maybe? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Okay. That's weird. But then in this one, I did some bits and pieces. <laughs> I was so excited to have a pre-printed index, and as you can tell, I got into February and then stopped using it. So I don't buy the ones with the index anymore because I don't use them. I also find it funny that I tried to do this because I never look back to this at all, ever. I think keys are for people who are new here, and this is me, I live here. Future log, that's what it's called. I was just recording another one. I could not think of this term. Oh, anyway, so. You know, do some stuff. I have, I think in this one I was pretty modest and I did like two or three collection-y type prep spreads before I really got into it. And then I would just do like a calendar. Yeah, cause here we did a few of them and I didn't write a lot. I, again, never came back to it. Um, I don't remember, oh, I think I fucked up a page pretty bad and he had to come out. I did not like him. Uh, but yeah, there are some cool spreads in here and the tabs where I wanted to migrate these into other things. Um, but then this became like my general go-to spread because my classes were Monday through Thursday. So I let them take up the bulk of the page so that my class where I had all, my day where I had all my classes could have all of this space. And then if I didn't have anything, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, apparently I wasn't feeling good that day. But then uh, Friday was my day off. Uh, at this point, it looks like I was talking to my therapist on Fridays, but um, generally speaking, I would have classes Monday through Thursday and then spend all day Friday doing homework. Like I would go live in a Starbucks somewhere or on campus near the coffee shop because I, I got a bean juice problem, you guys. Um, but I would use Friday to catch up on homework and literally do it like it was a nine to five job. 
And then Saturday, Sunday, I was working at a Starbucks, actually. <laughs> I got a problem. Uh, but I was working all day, so even though they were shorter shifts, I think they were like six hour shifts, but I was a tired old lady. I am a tired old lady. Uh, so I wasn't doing anything else with that day, although I guess I was playing magic with friends on that Saturday. So I kept these days short in case something needed to come up or I needed to remember something, but I most of the time just didn't worry about it. Um, and then I tried this out for the first time, I think, in this book. I liked the idea of having like a little tiny dashboard um, and just doing what I kind of now refer to as like a floating week where I just, I don't set this up in advance. I put a header in for the day with the day of the week and the number because otherwise I have no idea where I am or how you found me. What is a day? I have no idea. And then, oh, I was sick. That's not great. Anyway. But then I would just allow myself to fill up whatever needed to, to take up space, you know, um, words. So I just kind of let it take up the space that it needed to, and then I would tack on the next day underneath it. Um, and then I was taking notes and then like, I would just flip to the next available page and I would again, set a header, put out some thoughts and go to the next one. I think I was actually trying to use my, uh, fountain pen with this. And I did this for a while because I actually pretty liked it. Um, also, cause this was the beginning of the year. So this is when I'm not in class and was having like vacation time. Um, I think when I went into school, it was easier for me during the school year to have like a visual weekly setup so that I could see what was coming up. When I don't have a schedule, this is kind of what I revert back to and you'll see that in some of my other ones. But yeah, there's a little bit of journaling, but I played around with the setup. It's more or less the same. Oh yeah, I tried to get creative with some of these and they're cute. I mess up the calendar without fail every freaking time I try to make one of you guys. It makes me so sad. <laughs> um, but then I tried to do a bunch of this, see if there's anything more exciting. I tend to stick to the same ones. And then in here, I tried to go back to this. Oh, oh, let's go on a memory trip. So this is from 2020. This was my spring break that never stopped. Uh, I was all cute. Oh, look, it's so fun. Ah, oh, I didn't mess up the calendar that bad this time. I don't know what that's about. No, I think that's on purpose. I don't know. So we have school, you know, we're going through some stuff. There's not a lot in here. I'm probably not worried about things. Did some journaling, another week of school, and then... <sighs> yeah, so this is when I was supposed to be leaving my job. Because I was supposed to be starting an internship the next week. So this was the first week of spring break. So this, uh, it starts on Tuesday the 17th, and then the 18th, and then we skip to the 27th. So I missed some time in the middle there between the entirety of spring break, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this is actually where I started playing around making YouTube videos. I originally was making them for funsies and just recording myself putting on makeup, honestly. And my camera setup was garbage because I realized real quick, it's very hard to apply makeup when you can't see your own face. I'm, I wear glasses and I'm pretty nearsighted and I had to like have the mirror all up, all up in my face. So it was either reflecting the camera or you couldn't see me at all. It was a hot mess but it was the first time I had ever tried or messed around with recording myself to show literally anyone ever. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with it, um, but that's what this is. So I started doing that and then we went back to school but everything was online and it was a hot mess from there. And I set up this page and never touched it because I made the dumb mistake of highlighting which week of the month it was before I got to it. And then I, I don't know, I was almost embarrassed by it or upset about it. So I just never touched it. And I just decided, you know what? Fuck that page. We're gonna keep going. Oh, I like the color. See, I fuck it up every time. What is this? 
nobody knows why is there a line here i guess i counted this part wrong who knows and then it, yeah it's bad the colors are cute i try uh, so i kind of stuck with this for a while because while i was doing online classes everything was a hot mess I was also actively trying to decorate my pages more with my stickers because I have so many stickers and I just never use them. I was trying to validate buying more stickers. Oh, this is cute. Uh, so then we get into planning classes, more trying different things. What was that? Oh, okay. I think Amanda Rachley or someone did. No. Yes? Maybe. But they did a spread and I liked it. And I tried to do it and then I realized it didn't apply to anything in my life. And I'm like, oh, well, that was fun. On we go. Uh, I tried to do more themes and cute things. I like the simple color switching. This one was actually really pretty. Look at this lettering. That's legit. Okay, anyway, memory lane. I haven't looked at this in like a year. So I have very little memory of what the heck is in here. What is, I'm just doing research. <laughs> this one was fun. I was inspired by strawberry lemonade. So I got like peaches and lemonades and stuff. You know, you know, like it do. And I was trying to do color themes and put in some stickers. Planning for a sweater that I'm kind of making. I messed it up, but I think I know how to fix it. It's a progress. It's a whole process, you guys. And then this is actually... It was the end of the book. I had already decided, hate this book. I'm not using it now. Um, so I actually did some examples for a video of different ideas of how you could set up your weeklies for if you are in school. Um, so this was pretty close to the one that I typically used, but I couldn't make the assumption that your Friday would be your day for schoolwork, so I threw it to do in there. And then this is kind of for the rolling weekly, but it has like a small calendar uh, dashboard up here so you can write in like which classes or an appointment or something or like hey homework is due or like due date or something or put stickers in like a short to-do list and then whatever uh, this one I've actually used a couple of times I liked that you could see like your days of the week your weekends over here and then a chunk of this is the homework this is the not homework and then the little calendar became like a friend of mine because it helps me visually understand how close are we to a due date if I can actually see it all in the same place. Then I played with some Dutch doors. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, and then I liked... Oh, I'm so mad that I didn't use this page. This lettering is so cute. It's bouncy. I had such a struggle with lettering. I was so proud of that. Uh, but this one had a different kind of Dutch door, and then I went into some madness with some other stuff, and the rest of it I think is empty. So I might rip those pages out and use them for something else. But anyway, so this was my first big boy, like proper, proper bullet journal, I felt. Uh, uh, so this is the one that I carried for like the tail end of 2020. I had decided to, um, let me take a beverage break. Um, uh, essentially what happened was I didn't get to graduate on time because I didn't have a, an internship credit. So I had to wait until the next school year to be able to take it again, to take the credited class thing again the following spring. I was less than happy. But the whole world was falling apart so I took it as an excuse to not have to worry about finding a job because everything was on fire and boy I'm glad that I didn't go back to my job. Uh, everything was bad. You were there, you know. Uh, so um, I decided to take some classes. Uh, I guess real quick before I get into this, this was actually a journal that I picked out specifically because my best friend picked out these really cute, I don't know how well you'll see them, and these really cute like tabs that were all like metallic-y, nice colors, and it came with like, she like bought me a set of stationery stuff that was all like rose gold and other chromatic colors, and then like the tabs, so I wanted a really simple black with rose gold journal, and I found this one, Endo Book Therapy, and that was like... I found them on like a, a Facebook ad before anyone else had their journals 
because I'm so cool. But like they had exactly the design, so I took I took a risk, and I'm like, ah, we'll see what happens. Um, one of my bookmarks did fall out, but I really liked it. It was real fancy to have the gilding, um, and I didn't notice a whole lot of difference between the paper quality between this and the scribbles that matter. So whatever. Um, but I really like the space thing. I think it's cute. Um, I am starting to miss the more colorful books though because my current one is also black with metallic. But anyway, uh, so as we get into this one, I set up like a few pages in the front and just like right into the calendar. So I had decided to take classes for another program and tried to double major. And at first it was great. I was excited. I knew how to see that spread came back because I liked it. I tried them all out so I could see if I would keep them. And I tried to do this. I always hate how that turns out. Um, but uh, it ended really badly. Things were bad. I failed all my classes. Uh, I understood the material, but I got so far behind that there was mathematically no way for me to catch up and have a passing grade by the end of the semester. So. Uh, that was a bad time for me. Anyway, but that's about when this bullet journal takes place. Um, I did play around with doing different monthly spreads. <laughs> I don't remember where I found that. Fall is my second favorite F word. <laughs> well, it's accurate though, my dude. Anyway, but I liked doing this for once. It was very different. I could plan out like when Thanksgiving week was, so I was going to be on break. I think maybe he had... Yeah, the boyfriend took that week off, so I did that so I could actually see it. Played with this. I used this spread for a while because I liked it. I actually found a stamp for a calendar, which was so nice because I mess up a calendar every time. Ooh. They don't quite line up perfectly, but it's close enough. I did some journaling things, some stuff. This was a weirdo spread that took way too long to set up. It was kind of cool, and then I never did it again. I'm back to that. And then I tried dailies, which was cool. I liked the idea of having like an hourly breakdown of what the hell did I even do today? And I tried to do three things, like two to three things that I had to do today. And then like general to do, which for me is less of you are bad if you did not do this. And it's more of if you're bored and you're losing your mind, go do these. These are things, these are constructive, go, go. Uh, so these are the ones I had to do. These are the ones that like, hey, um, don't sit on the couch, do the dishes. Usually there's some fun things in the to-do list too. Like this one says nap before class. And then like the little calendar that kind of bleeds over. I thought that was real cute. I used little stampy dudes. Cause I was trying to test out ink because I'd never tried to use anything other than marker and like you can't really see it. So that was cool. Uh, and then I tried a different color, also using stamps. I have very limited ink because I don't have a lot. Um, and then I tried one more because it was cute and I had a heart and I, why not? As you can see, I used these so much, like, oh man, I just wrote so many notes. And then I just, there was, <laughs> I messed up so bad, guys. I even mess up with a stamp. I don't understand. If I had brain cells, I could have lined this up better. To be fair, it's a wood block and not an acrylic block, so you can't really see what you're doing, and that's what that's about. So I just kind of went with it and made it messy. Sure. I like these colors. It's pretty purple. And then stuff. Assignments I was trying to catch up on, and I had like two weeks to try and do all of this. Oh boy. And uh, what is this? JavaScript and PHP? They are not forgiving. They, they smell your fear and they feed off of it. Let me tell you. I started actually using brain dump pages for one of the first times ever. I should probably look at this and see if I've done all of these. Um, and then I tried the Alistair method, which I kind of fell in love with for a while. The only problem is, as you can tell, I'm not good at committing to doing things on a specific day. It am struggle. Oh, oh yeah, there's that. I tried to do this. Uh, Try to do some journaling things that I didn't really know what to do with, never came back to. I stuck to this one for a while because it just was visually clean. It took much less effort to set up. I just used a stamp, put a sticker here for pretties, 
and then highlighted markers so it would be one day and then the blank would be a day and then a color and then a, so they were separated so I could look down and be like okay what did I say I do this is the first time in what two are we at two years now we started we got those at the end of 2018 so this is like a whole year into using these things this is the first time I ever put watercolor in one so I really don't know why I bother using the thick paper because I don't need it. But the colors are pretty. So I'm planning. Oh yeah, this. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, pen pals. So I put this really, really stylish, cute thing together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's really cool. I tried doing a smaller thing. I tried using those, doing these. I tried setting this up for the beginning of 2021. And then we get into this. I can't turn pages. I was trying some new things. This, this is not foldable paper, you guys. As you can see, it like, it created some problems because I was trying to have it be like a little flippy flip so I could see these tracker stickers I tried that I never used. Um, and then a brain dump that also nothing in. My lettering's getting solider, solider, better, question marks. And then this was, um, this one I had a lot of fun setting up. I spent way too much time. This is awful, I'm sorry. Uh, but this was me trying to block out what the rest of my summer would look like and how like the tail end of my last year at school and figuring out how and where and what the windows are, what the time of, I need to have this done, I need to do this, I need to do this so I can start doing that. Oh, uh, geez, I got this from a YouTuber. Like pretty paper, and I will pop her up on the screen. I will throw her in the description. Her channel was recommended to me by a friend on a Discord and it's great. Literally, my only complaint is she is so quiet that I have to turn my volume up so loud and then the commercials destroy my ears. That's the only thing. Everything she does is great, even if it's not relevant to me. She's so gentle and kind with herself most of the time, but she's also pretty honest about it. I, I just like her. She's a gift. Um, so this was... I had messed up really hardcore, did not count the spaces for what was going to be here. This was supposed to be like an ideal week of when I was going to do social media things, itchy. when I was going to work on homework things, and then when I was going to schedule other things. And I just hardcore messed this up. This is, this page is shameful. But then we get into this. Yeah, Alistair, we've been there. I tried to do an energy thing, also from that same YouTuber, um, and realized this is when I started to realize I am in fact not a night owl. I'm a morning person. I hate it, but I do all of my best work in like after, if I'm waking up late or like around noon, my big spikes are like the first three, four hours that I'm awake. I can like, it takes me an hour to be functional, but then after that I'm like, let's go. And then around four or five, I need a nap. And then I can get some energy back if I rest, and then it's bedtime. Or I'm too excited to sleep, which, you know, whatever. And then this is when I started doing these because this made more sense. I had most of my, I think, boy, this, this feels like it happened so long ago. This was this year. It is currently June as I am recording. This was what, 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 what month is this? February? Who knows? Like, this was this year. It doesn't feel like it. But uh, all of my classes, I had two classes for this semester because I just needed the one credit and wanted to take another one for personal interest, but it was relevant to what I'm studying. Um, words. Uh, so this semester, this last semester here, uh, my classes were both on Monday. I only had, one was an online only class and then one we had to meet up, I think in the afternoons on Mondays. And then the rest of the week was whatever because I didn't have a job. So it was just managing everything else. But I had got this little sticker book from, it's not little, it's a full size. It's a sticker book I found at Michael's and it was all spooky witch themed stuff. So I would pick 
but there were very obviously like three or four styles within that book. So I would pick one of the styles and this spread was all stickers from that section of the sticker book and then some washi that matched. And then I kept with that and I did this set. And then homework log that I never used. And some journaling, some thoughts. A uh, brain dump page that I didn't use. I think at this point, like, I was annoyed that I had this much left in my journal because it had already been several months and I just wanted a new journal because I'm like that. So there's a bunch of pencil things. Oh, that was all January. Jesus. So here's February. So that's cool. I have a little calendar. Tried to do the energy again. It definitely, like, I was getting more for energy in the afternoons. I think but the fact that it goes up and then I am not a night person, but I started actually using a homework log and it made a big difference just to see what are all of the things he's assigning this week. I guess this is one week. So what are all the things he assigned this week? What are the few things I need for that class? It was easier since I had two classes and I just color coded it. Um, still doing the spread. These are stickers that I made. I actually painted the little pips and then these bars on watercolor paper with I think my tiny tiny baby Holbein set. Um, I believe I have a video for that. I'll pop it up in the card. Um, but I just for the, the paint set. So I just painted that on paper, scanned them all in and I did it the really stupid tedious way in Photoshop and I don't know why I did that to me because it took me forever to realize oh I didn't need to. Like so I had painted a bunch of different colors and then tried to separate each one out into its own file. I could have just painted one set and then altered the color to have different color options, but I didn't think about that. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. But I had painted them and then put them on there and then printed them out uh, and cut them out with my Cricut to just make some planner stickers on just like some paper textured sticker paper. And I think that's what I use for the rest of this journal because I was experimenting and having a lot of fun. I like the circles. I think they're cool. I like the little circles. They're nice. But then... I didn't realize I was just going to do a flip through of all of these. I'm sorry, you guys. It's like a three hour video. I was trying to do this. I liked the idea of putting this on so you could do two weeks on one spread. Spread? Two weeks on one spread. And then like lunch when I should be going to bed and where I'm at so I can kind of track. Like if you can see when I was waking up at a more reasonable time because I had classes, like I would wake up, I would get more energy, noon, between noon and four, I would be pretty good. And then four, it starts to dip up at least one. Uh, it starts to kind of go downhill after four. Except for whatever, like Wednesday? Wednesday I was having a good time. I must have had a Red Bull that day. But like it starts to decline after like three or four in the afternoon and then it's sleepy time. So the fact that there's just like an arc here, like I was lying to myself. This is also a sticker that I made. Uh, I had drawn this for a class as like a border for like a greeting card or something. And then I printed that out on clear sticker paper. Oh yeah, I forgot those are in here. So I had set up a bunch of pages and then decided I hate this book and I'm not using it anymore. Which part of me feels like was maybe the wrong choice. Oh yeah, I don't think I shared these with anybody. These are also stickers that I'm working on. So like an example of how a monthly would look like and I was making daily stickers, but you'll see more of that in the next one. But I left all these blank pages because I did just kind of get to the point where I'm like, you know what? I'm not happy with this book anymore. I don't want to carry it around anymore. And I think by that point I had already bought a replacement journal. Um, so this is my latest journal. This is, I think this starts 2021. the little one. I like these stickers a lot so I put it in there because I don't want to put my name and stuff because if I've lost this book assume that I am dead. Please. I've been kidnapped. If I if I don't know where this is I have been kidnapped or my house is on fire. Like there's no reason for me to not know where my bullet journal is. No hate to anyone who needs those but like I literally there is no reason for me to not know. 
Um, so I wanted to try out the little skinny pages. I thought they looked like fun. Uh, it was kind of trendy when I initially bought this. I guess it looked trendy and then I can't find anyone using them but me. That's fine. Uh, I had seen someone do this kind of spread out where you put like the days and appointments on one side and then like a to-do list on the other side and I only used it once. My assignment log stuck and then I switched to daily pages. Uh, they were more feasible in this format. It was also because I made these stickers. Uh, I think for me, a daily setup would be unfeasible. It would be ridiculous. It would not be sustainable if I did not have stickers. Having to write this for every day, no. But I wanted to like keep track of what I was doing during the day, the things that I needed to get done today to allow myself, not necessarily to allow myself to relax, but these are the important things that if I get them done, I can feel good about myself. Um, weird tricks I play with my brain. And then this was, I switched it to activities instead of to do because this isn't the things I need to do. This is, if you're bored, go work on these. Stop sitting there and feeling sad. Fight your depression. Go do something. I'm bad about that. And then if there were things that happened that I had thoughts about. So we do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And eventually I decided to get more creative with these. I did miss my to-do list because now there's not like a master list to refer to. I had some struggles with daily pages. They're just so different from what I'm used to. Uh, so we do that for a lot. And then I did, I got super creative with April for no reason at all. Um, cute little stickers that I print out. I This is actually a sketchbook paper that I bought in bulk and then printed grid on because I'm making little booklets out of it. And then some stamps that I got from Sticky Club. Yeah. And then did a little more decoration in the base. And then I started, yeah, because this is where, ooh, I liked this setup. Um, where it's split. So there's still an hourly chunk and then your, your thinking goes in one place. I kind of liked it being this way, but I didn't keep doing it because I'm lazy. And then I tried doing different setups because I was getting annoyed with the the sameness of doing that one. It didn't feel quite as fun. I thought I would have like a dashboard and then do like bigger day sections and that didn't work. So I tried splitting it and that didn't work. And then like, this is me just getting frustrated. Okay, so this is kind of funny to me. Uh, we moved in May. Was it May? Yeah, so we moved. So I was too impatient to wait for the end of the month to make an actual calendar, but I needed to see where it was so my brain wouldn't explode. But then I went a couple of weeks and then I like made an actual May spread, which is just a bunch of stickers, but I had fun with it, so I don't care. I did some weekly pages. This was during the um, Scribbles That Matter. Uh, there was some kind of overwhelm challenge podcast thing that they were doing on Facebook that I jumped in on and I did some of the journaling in here but most of my actual journaling thinking and writing things out went in other books and so there's some thinking and stuff in here uh oh hey this is kind of a I went back to this for a bit didn't really use it this was a cool idea I had to try and track what I'm doing throughout the week so the idea is you would do you're color blocking your time. But then this way, it's not planning ahead. This is looking back. So what did I do with my morning? Oh, I was unpacking things because we moved last week. You know, what did I do? I took a big nap that day, you know, but uh, I don't use trackers, so who knows? Went back to my floating weeks because it's what I know. And then June, which is more stickers. I just used a bunch of the watercolor stickers that I made in a little month. And then I try to do three, two to three goals, things I would like to accomplish that would be meaningful, and then things that I absolutely have to do in this month. And then I did this. Would This is honestly my ideal bullet journal, this kind of spread. It's a little chaotic, but it's helping me keep track of these are things I could be doing. These are thoughts that I had while I was setting this up. These are the ones that I did. Do I want to carry these over or not? And then going through and like I'm getting use out of this is why 
And then I have a social media spread where an expected what I should be doing, what I am doing. Notice I'm not filling it out. I think I accidentally took this week off though. But then, you know, just going back into this and I did try this again and this week it actually worked. So it was just a block of like, what am I doing and when? But currently I have this master to-do list of like big things that I should be thinking about and then a big brain dump. Um, and this is where I start to like use this cute little lettering and then just bars. And then I think this is actually my current week. Oh, I skipped one. No, okay. So then just floating days. And then I have that. So I am this close to the end of this book and I'm contemplating switching back to daily pages. So this will probably fill up pretty quick or I might just journal in it to get done with it because we have those. Um, well, one of them. So uh, I'm probably gonna pause here because if this video is too long, this is where I would cut it to make part two. Drink break. Okay, so this is a little journal that I got from Sunshine Sticker Co. Because when I was looking on Instagram for inspiration for how to use this little traveler's note, uh, the TN size thing, uh, this was one of the few actual Instagrams that had any content for that, and it's because they sell their own. Um, they are a bit smaller than the Archer and Olive ones, but they have, I think it's like 120 GSM, and I, I am getting to the point where I'm like, I am literally not using anything that would bleed through page less than 160. Like, I'm not using my Tombow very much, and I have stickers, I could do it on the sticker and then stick the sticker in if I really wanted to. And I'm not using like watercolor, I did one page, and like honestly, look at how badly that warped the book. I'm really like disappointed in Archer and Aller for that, honest, to be completely honest with you guys, because I did one page in this one that was watercolor and it didn't, it's, it, I can see it, but it's so much smaller, like, sorry, it's, it's a uh, soapbox time. Cause like in here, I did this one page, but look how little wrinkling there is. This is tolerable. Like I was scared to do this because I was so sure it was gonna mess up my whole book and it actually still lays pretty flat. Like it's not, like there's texture to it, but it's not making it harder to put the elastic on the book. This one is struggling because the stickers and then the, even when I squish it down, it doesn't go flat. Like that's, I, and like granted, I also glued things in on this page, but like, look at how warped that is. I don't know. For how much of a cult favorite that brand is and for how much they charge, I paid as, this is almost the exact same price as the A5 size, even though it's less pages and less square footage. Square, <laughs> square inch inch? Question mark? There's less surface area and there's less pages and like, I don't know, it's kind of nice. It feels fancy and luxurious, but like the paper buckled way more than it should have for how much I paid for this book. And just with how much everyone is so excited, this is like the end all be all of journals. And I was just disappointed because honestly, the scribbles that matter and the notebook therapy one, I thought they were nicer. Except this one has cloth if that's your jam. I also never use, I thought I would, and I literally never use it because I don't go anywhere that I'm not taking a pencil bag. If I plan to write anything in my journal, I have a pencil bag because I, I draw, so I always have drawing stuff with me. Anyway, that's a tangent. Uh, so I got this cute little dude because I want to try another brand also because it's super affordable. I have a whole video somewhere in the ethos of these two. Um, I might, no, that's gonna come out after this one if I still have the footage for that, which I think I do, but I wanna do this video first. So I guess that's a spoiler. Um, so I got this one to kind of compare them. Um, so tiny, tiny spoiler, I guess. Uh, so I kind of like that I had that. Uh, the dot grid is much larger. Like the dots themselves are heavier and it's 
odd to me that there's not a header and some of them are aligned a little weird, but like the paper is not bad. I was actually really impressed with spoiler how well this pen test went. So um, this is what I'm going to be going into for an ex bullet journal, most likely, unless I find a reason not to use it. But this is where I'm planning on going because um, it's small and cute. I did just record uh, checking out this book, which is, what is it, like a true red book that I got at Staples because I'm going to probably use this for like a work bullet journal. And then this could be like my personal bullet journal. We'll see how that goes. Um. Uh, and then this little stack. Um, so this is kind of like a book of collections. I had got it at like a local anime fan collection thing. Some artist designed the cover and then got them made. I'm guessing this is closer to a Leuchstrom. I'm not sure and she didn't know where they came from. She apparently just got someone else to make it. But uh, the pages are, it's pretty standard A5 size, but this one I did a lot more uh, collections and journaling in, but there's no calendar pages in here is why it's in a different stack. Um, I did use it for one of my classes at one point, which I think is what this is, where we would come in once a week and like get talked to by someone in the industry and I would take notes and put all of my notes for that class in here. I tried to do, there's a bunch of YouTube thinking at the beginning, there's a whole mini script concept for five steps to changing your art style kind of stuff that I was planning and then never got around to. I'll probably come back to that. If that sounds exciting, let me know in the comments since usually I'm doing art on this channel. Um, Lord, I'm starting to run out my voice. Uh, so yeah, so this one has a bunch of stuff. It has businessy things, it has personal things, it has school things, but it's largely collections and journaling rather than being an actual planner. But I had this one for a long time. Uh, when did I get this? Uh, jeez, Jess. Uh, so yeah, this says I started it in August of 2018 which actually would have been before I got either of the moleskins that I use. So this would have technically been my first one and I was just using it as a journal where I would put like titles and was thinking and doing some bullet journal-esque stuff, kind of. Uh, but this, oh, actually that spread that I was just on. Where'd it go? No, not that. Uh, where did it go? Cause I think this is actually where uh, I think this was the start of the year, so this was me looking into bullet journaling things and then um, shortly after this I think is when I got I got those that year for Christmas and then actually did all my calendar stuff in there. Which initially just started as a large checklist of please do these instead of sitting around and feeling depressed and anxious that you don't know what to do with yourself. Okay. So these are my last two bullet journals and these are actually structured bullet journals but again these do not have calendars um well, this one kind of does but i don't use it as a planner uh funny story about this so notebook therapy uh partnered up with is it milk two is that how you say it milk two art and she did the artwork for these journals, which I like her, I already follow her on Instagram, so I was really excited when this happened. Uh, and then it was a witch. I mean, how much more perfect flavor can you get than that for me? Uh, so I asked for it for Christmas and my birthday, because they're in the same week. My dad got me one and my boyfriend's mom got me one. What? my dad got me the their original size which at first i was like why would i want something so small mostly uh i sent them a link because i made this huge list because i'm like here's a bunch of specific things you can get here's some general concepts you can get i had put a link in there but i didn't tell them what size so one of them gets to the correct size but i'm actually glad i got to play with the original size 
because it's kind of cute. It's actually more portable and I kind of like it a lot. And now I'm almost sad that I used this for something else because this would have made a really cool everyday bullet journal. Uh, so this book, this little one, I actually use as like a fashion journal. I stuck some clear stickers on there because I thought they were cute. And then that way they have flavor from each other. Um, so this one I'm actually using for like my style. Uh, but I wanted to start wearing clothes that actually like matter to me and I was using this to kind of establish what is my style, what are my measurements. I also am interested and own a few Lolita pieces, um, but I haven't had a lot of money to really devote to that. So I've actually made myself a couple of Lolita skirts and I have ever to make another one, but I've been kind of procrastinating. Um, but then I have some plans for that and I'm going through and this is me actually like, <laughs> it's kind of cute, like drawing actual clothing items that I own and trying to put together like what are outfits that I wear all the time that I really enjoy. Um, I don't think there's a lot in this book just yet, but I'm more, oh, this lettering. Oh. But then like a coordinate that I could wear. Uh, but then trying to plan coordinates that I want to make, things I want to put together, how would I wear it? Um, so there's not a whole lot in here yet. I was obsessed with this idea for like, oh, so cute, for a while and then kind of got thrown on a bench. But then this way it has somewhere to live so that if I want to pull out a book and start planning to make some kind of Lolita dress or something, like I have somewhere for that. If I want to start Anyway, so then I can reference this whenever. Like I said, it's a bunch of collections. It has a purpose, but it's not like a planner. There's no calendar in there. And then this one, this big chonky boy, cause the notebook therapy books are thick with like five C's. Like they big, but it's the same one. I just use different stickers and kind of decorate it a little bit. Those are off center. I don't care. Uh, again, it's got the cute little gildedness. Oh, the other cute thing that I thought, uh, I mentioned this earlier, but the rose gold one has rolled rose gold uh, tabs. The gold one has gold tabs. And then I have silver on this one. It has silver tabs. I put some on this side. So this one I'm actually using as my mystic bat planner. Um, so again, it's not like a day to day. I don't do weeklies, but I do have like a yearly setup where I can plan like days that are upcoming events that I want to do art for. So the day that we moved, um, I'm going to do something cool for Friday the 13th this year because it's, it's spooky and I'm supposed to be spooky, I guess. So like I'll come up with something, maybe a giveaway question mark, who knows, uh, monthly challenges I kind of want to follow. And then it's got some stuff for planning my business, some branding things. I changed this, so I need to go in and stick some new things in here. And then like some mood boards and just some typical like planning of who I am, what I want to do. And then <laughs> this is a hot mess. So this is me trying to plan products that I want to make and sell. And then this little tear out that I apparently did in this one and then ripped out for whatever purpose. This one is a shopping list for uh, supplies for making products and what I would need to really get started. Uh, if you want to help me out and get to this nearly $400 goal to be able to have all of the things that I need to have like all the shipping, all of the packaging. If you want to help support this and help me get closer to my goal of opening a shop and just making it a little bit easier for me, there should be a link in the description for my Ko-fi page where you can donate with as little as $3 and it just, it would mean a lot to me. If you guys are able to help, if you want to help, that would be awesome sauce, but like hyper no pressure. I know how the struggle goes. So this is me planning um, kind of what things I wanted to use. I have ideas for product themes, uh, planning colors, video ideas, artwork ideas. I have a blog and then just other thinking, I'm like doing some planning. So this is all just planning for Mystic Bat stuff, whether it's the YouTube or whatever. Eventually I'm going to have a financial chapter when the shop opens up so I can put all of my financial tracking and stuff and have like 
like a log for what I'm spending finance, you know, what I'm spending on, and then goals and stuff for the shop. And then there should be this other tab. Is I should have this set up, and I don't. But this is supposed to be marketing, so it's going to have metric goals and like trackers. I think I penciled it in and then never got around to finishing it. But like goals and trackers and things. And so that's all social media and running a business and that's where all of that went because I could be doing this in my bullet journal, but then I would never be able to find all the things. I almost wish that I had used one of these as like a bullet journal. I think this size would be really fun to use as like a calendar. It's nice and portable. But um, I am glad that I used this style for Mystic Bat because it's it's very flavorful. It's accurate. Um, boy, like, what is it? Two, three hours later? My voice is gone. Here's my mess of bullet journals, you guys. Um, oh, I guess. Whoa, throwing things. Ah. And then the two I haven't started yet. Uh, I bullet journal. I have a problem. If you have a problem, let me know about it in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear about what brand is your favorite, what's, what format is your favorite. I think my new obsession for this year and next year is going to be trying different sizes. Um, so I tried this one and it was fun. I'm having kind of, I had a blast in this one to start. I started getting kind of old of it. I'm excited to use this real big one with the little baby one. Um, thank you guys for dropping by to watch this. Again, check out the description for a master link to all of my other social media. The Kofi link is down there if you want to help out. And then there's a Discord called the Creative Club where me and some of my friends and we kind of just hang out. We share projects we're working on. Everything from like yarn to bullet journals to pen pals. I think that's my spiel. I'm gonna go eat some food. I will see you guys in the next video.